Hey everybody, this is John Zepp with Sales Actually. Hey, I recorded a, an interview a couple of weeks ago with the master seller, Carrie Kaiser, and as I was editing it, I realized that it's kind of long, so I decided to chop it up into three small pieces. And so this is the uh, first part of that. It's about, I don't know, seven minutes long or so, and each piece is about that, or a minute or so longer than that. So um, make sure you subscribe and hit the notifications button so when you the next two parts come out, you get notified of that because uh, you're going to want to hear this. This is great stuff. So just a quick intro on, uh, on that interview. Um, I, I'll say more about it on the actual piece, but I just want to give this a short clip right at the beginning. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. So, hey everybody, this is John Zepp with Sales Actually. I am so excited about what's going on today. Uh, I've got the opportunity to interview a good friend of mine, Carrie Kaiser, who is a master seller. And so uh, we'll start it off with just a quick intro of Carrie. He'll tell you a little bit about himself and some of the things he's done in his career. You know, take a couple minutes there, and then uh, you know, I'll kind of walk through what we're trying to accomplish. So really what we're talking, to, talking about is, is some of the keys to success that Carrie's had in his career and some lessons learned, and we'll just kind of, you know, ask him some questions. He'll talk, and we'll have a good time. So um, as long as everybody's ready to go with that, let's kick it off with Kerry, and just tell us a little bit about you and your career and some of the things you've done. Great. Thanks, John. Thanks so much for having me. I'm thrilled to be here. I'm flattered and honored. <laughs> uh, my name's Kerry Kaiser, and I have, um, I guess I started my career with about 10 years of commercial banking experience. I wanted to be a banker. Uh, I like doing deals. I like looking at deals. I like talking to people. And um, at that point in time, traditional bank training programs were, were very much part of the banking culture. So you go through and you understand how to analyze financial statements. If you want to be a lender, it's really important that you understand cash flow. So I had the chance to do that. Um, the economy did not really cooperate. I felt like I was a sales and business development person. Um, and had pretty decent interpersonal skills. And ironically, the economy was such that there was an inordinate amount of oil and gas trouble. I grew up in Oklahoma, so we were right at the, uh, uh, the center of the storm. I moved to Texas to sort of get away from the oil and gas and ag economy and walked right into some of the real estate and SNL troubles. Worked for some great banks, great management, but quite candidly, when the macroeconomics are really not working in your favor, um, it can it can be rough, but it was an interesting experience. I learned a great deal, and now I live you know in um, in Plano, just north of Dallas, and we are having this explosive growth. I wish I could say I had this incredible vision that this would be the place to be, but as John can certainly attest, we have had record levels of relocations from both coasts, and it's amazing what's going on with our economy. Um, after about 10 years of banking, I decided I really wanted to move into something that was more business development driven. And there still weren't too many marketing or sales jobs in banking. So I got recruited out and started working for Sabre. I've always liked technology and I worked for a, um, a data mining practice within Sabre. And my job was just to take some of those best practices from Sabre's customer loyalty programs. I mean, this was back, you know, almost before cell phones or pretty close to it. But the gold card with Sabre and the way they treated um, all of their customers was exemplary. And so we were mapping the best practices of the Advantage program to financial services, namely in retail banking um, as it revolved around lenders uh, or lending, as it revolved around credit cards and availability, as it revolved around interest rate calculations, either what to charge or um, what, to, what to pay as it related to deposit products. So that put me on a roughly a 20 year path of really technology sales. It revolved around business intelligence. Um, it revolved around performance improvement, worked for this awesome company and we did uh, bank credit and sales training. It was a terrific experience. And I had the benefit though of being around some amazing trainers. I mean, these people were absolutely gifted and that's all they did. They went all over the country. And while the company probably wouldn't make wouldn't be one that you would know. We were like the 600 pound gorilla when it came to outsourced credit and sales training. So it was a fascinating time. Um, most recently, I've been more involved with, um, I worked for NEC 
and I'm working in the unified communication side of that. So there's still a great deal of the technology aspect to it. It's an inside sales role. So instead of being face to face as much, uh, you sort of morph and adapt uh, the way you engage people and, you know, to be focused more and effective over the phone. Got it. Got it. That's awesome. Sounds like you've had a, a varied and exciting career over the years. And that's, that's pretty cool. Done a lot of different things just like me. Right. Right. Um, but, but a, a thread through all of that, that's been somewhat consistent. So that's pretty cool. Sure. Um, in those various roles, you've done a number of different things. What would you say was your favorite of all those roles? Interestingly, there was this window there and it's, it's a little bit early with the role that I'm currently in, but this is kind of where this is headed. But during that window with the bank consulting firm, um, I loved, I loved engaging people and helping them understand or figure out a way, uh, based on what they needed to do and to ultimately contribute something that you could look back on a month or a quarter or a year and say, you know, we really helped there. I mean, the ultimate compliment is, um, helping someone hit their number or reach their goals by October. Um, if you can do that, life is so much easier than coming <laughs> down to the last minute and having been on both sides of that. Uh, October is your buddy if you can hit your number. Yep, absolutely, absolutely, totally get that. Yeah, and then those last you know two or three months of the year, like you know, you you're it's all gravy, right? Everything well, you yeah, do then you is kinda, just you can kind of slow it. You can slow it down a little bit and start trying to figure out you know the next quarter and how that's going to work. And yeah. uh, it's a it's a nice it's a nice spot to uh, to be in. And most importantly, though, when people come back to you and you know, have a genuine appreciation because you've helped them. Um, and I think at its core, we're at our best when we can take what our company does, whatever it is, understand what the, the customer or the prospect really needs and map that in a way that brings a lot of value. That's just effective and brings value. And if Absolutely. we do that, everybody wins. I don't care how it's priced. I don't really care how much about the other stuff. Um, if you position that and explain it right, um, it's, it's relatively easy. It's not a sales thing I mean, people like to buy, but if you position it right, they're, they're all over it. And, um, it's a, it's a tremendous feeling. Yeah, absolutely. I love that stuff. When, when everybody wins it, we're all good. Right. And, right. and customers happy with what they've spent money on. You're happy with how you sold it and, and handled it well and, and made some money. Everybody's happy. And that's a great thing. That's when it's really fun. Absolutely. Thank you so much for watching the first part of this interview. I'll uh, have the next section out probably early next week and then the final piece uh, the end of next week. So again, appreciate you watching. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notifications button so you get notified when it gets out there. Um, hopefully you've learned some things here and the rest of it's got even more meat. So stay tuned. Be watching for those videos. I think you're going to love it. All right. Thanks everybody. Go sell something.